Hello, this is week two Advent Kit Craft. Uh, so as you know, we gave out Advent Kits for you to do at home, and each week there is a devotion, a craft, a recipe, and a song that you can listen to um, to kind of make your Advent um, experience something that we all share. So many of you will be doing this at home, and then um, this will culminate in Christmas Eve. So anyway, this is the week two craft, and this is a very simple craft, so I'm not really even gonna show you too much about it, but I wanted to talk to you about why we're doing it. So this is, we are making Christmas cards for um, a group of people in our church that we are calling internet adjacent. And what that means is that they're either shut-ins or homebound people who don't use technology to connect with us, or it's people who are not homebound but still don't really watch or connect with us on Facebook or on any of our internet um, access points like YouTube or our Facebook Live Worship or anything like that. So we are sending cards to these people to keep them connected because as you know, everyone in our congregation is our church family. And so just like any other family member, we want them to feel connected to us all, especially at this time of year. And so we're going to be making homemade Christmas cards. Now this is a very simple craft and you will be getting a little bag like this in your advent kit, in your tool kit. And what the bag contains is a couple of things. First of all, there are two different blank cards. Most of you should have a, a ivory colored one and a white one. Some of you might have two white ones, depends on how they got packaged. There will also be addressed and stamped envelopes. So they're already all ready for you to send out. So you should have two of those to match with your cards. And then you can just make your card, put them in the envelope and send them. You don't even have to look up anything or buy a stamp. So that makes it very easy for you. The other thing that we will have in there, in your little kit, are some cut out the fronts of old Christmas cards. Whoops, this one has four, some of them will have three. So there's different Christmas cards. Now, you don't have to use these in total. Like you don't have to just glue the front of one onto your card. You can cut out a part of it. You can cut out the sentiment, like this one says, health, joy, love, and gladness, and it's a little snowman. So you could just cut out the words or just the snowman or however you wanna use this, just to help you kind of like make your card cute or pretty, whatever you decide you wanna do. There also will be a little baggie filled with different um, stickers. So if you wanna use those, you can use those as well. And of course, if you wanna draw something, if you're an artistically inclined person and you wanna draw your card rather than using something pre-printed, go ahead whatever you want to do. You could even just print something off your computer and cut it out and put it on. So lots of options. Just make it look nice and, and show the people who are getting it that you care about them. Um, the final thing is that there will be in your packet a list of sentiment ideas. Like in other words, if you just don't know what you want to say, there's some options for you to choose from. And also they're all spelled correctly. So if you have children and you want them to write them, they can just copy. Um, some of the suggestions are more religious than others. Some of them are actual Bible passages. Some of them are more just, you know, wishing you health and happiness this year, that kind of thing. So anyway, you write your sentiment on the inside of your card, wait for everything to dry if you glued anything, and then put it in your stamped and addressed envelope. If you wanna put a return address on, you can, or you don't have to. Um, and then that card, if you could get it in the mail by the 15th so that they can get it in time for Christmas, that would be great. And so that is our card craft for Advent week two. I hope that you are able to do this. If you do have a kit and you decide you cannot do this craft, please um, just return the cards to me and I'll make sure someone does them for you because we wanna be sure that everyone gets five or six cards um, in the mail. So we don't want anybody to be left out. Okay, so that's our week two. Enjoy.